Good afternoon ating mga viewers. Ako po si Chef Lau and you're watching the third, yes, third episode of Cooking Together with Lodger Manya. recap to sa episode 2 it was uh, going back uh, memory lane kasi I cooked with my lovely wife and I cooked a very special dish yung first date dish na niluto ko sa kanya so that was really fun but today it's even more fun and it's quite different because ako mismo hindi ako magluluto oh, di ba? so who will be joining me for this third episode she is a very great host Fantastic actress and a singer then, now a content creator, but she's also a very loving wife and has awesome kids as well. So she's a very awesome mom. So who is this person? I think medyo alam nyo na because she expressed her interest in cooking with me here sa Cooking Together with La Germania. No other than... Karel Marquez hi. Farinas. Hi, Chef. Yes. Hello. Hi, Karel. And hi How to everyone you? who's watching us today. How are you, Chef? How are you? I'm great. I'm so relaxed right now. Nakita niyo lang naka-chill ako dito kasi di ako magluluto eh. Kayo yung magluluto. Oh, <laughs> oh nga so, eh. Parang kakapressure para tong exam na I'm like uh, going no, to no, no, because no. Chef, Alam mo, chef Karel, is watching. <laughs> in, in this show, we're here for fun. Don't be pressured. Wala ako. I'm a barkada na makulit. <laughs> <laughs> going to ask you some questions regarding what you're cooking. Sure, sure, and, sure. I'm excited. Uh, talking about cooking, yeah. Karel, I'm so curious because you're into showbiz before, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is the first Did you start this uh, early on or is it a recent hobby? How did you start sa cooking, by the way? Actually, kasi my mom really taught me how to you know, cook when I was a very young age. Wow. Aside from the fact that, of course, she's an artist, a singer, siya, she always brings me to the rehearsal and all that pero pag nasa bahay talaga I always remember my childhood wherein I would watch her and cook so many delicious dishes pero since I was young mahilig na talaga ako to try different types of food medyo foodie nice. na ako noon pag nasa bahay she always kept cooking and then parang I always smelled the different flavors and the different yung mga scents of the food parang it just gave me another parang love parang another passion so that's how it started when I was young pa Pero it's like wow. no, nothing like serious na, oh, I want to be a cook, I want to be a, you know, it's nothing like that. Until mga 2017, 18, I started na selling kasi it started through friends. Mm. Like how usual online businesses start. Like, di ba, minsan titikman ng friends yung food mo. Yes. And then they will recommend it and then they will post it. And that's actually how it started. For those who don't know who is watching, I'm in food online business now. Like delivering food wow. from my home. <laughs> and can you tell our viewers, may, may ano ba to, may name ba tong uh, online uh, food business mo ngayon? Yes, what, what is it called? Uh, on Instagram, we're very active on Instagram. It's called Mama Karel's Kitchen. Wow, yes. Mama Karel's Kitchen. I like that. Talagang you embrace the fact that you're a mother, di ba? That's great. Literally, you're a hot mama. Kasi no, madalas ka na ngayon sa... Masa, ma madalas ka na sa kusina. So, may pinagmana ka talaga. Your mom is a fantastic singer and a great cook. Well, I must admit that my mom played a big influence. My mom cooks uh, a lot as well. So, we share something in common. That's great. Oh, itong recipe ba na to na you're gonna share with everyone? You mentioned nga, hindi pa nga uso yung mga online-online yes. magbebenta. Eh, ginagawa mo na. W were you selling this way back 2017? This recipe, I started maybe two years ago. So, talagang pre-pandemic talaga. I started uh, making this because, first of all, I think it's, I think, uh, it's easy to make. And at the same time, one of the most important things that made me go for it and made me try to sell it was because it's kids approved. So my ah, kids love it very much. So I think that, pala to ng mga kids. Yes. Yeah, so it made a big difference. And then I also had my other 
co-parents, let them try some yung mga anak nila, and then yun, that's how it started. I made sure that this dish naman is kid-friendly. Hopefully, they'll like it. I'm so curious. Ano ba tong kid-friendly dish mo na two years ago pa eh, pinagkakagulo na ng mga moms and kids. What dish is this, Karel? Yeah, not really a Filipino dish, pero maraming Filipinos who really like this. It has a Filipino touch to it. This is my cheesy baked macaroni. <laughs> Uy! Magugustuhan din yan ng mga anak ko. Ah, pati oh. ako, magugustuhan ko yan. Sana, sana. Wow. Cool. So, you're gonna do a cheesy beef baked macaroni. Yes. Sige, I'm excited to see how you're gonna do it. Anytime you wanna start, you can just start. So, based on my short course before, syempre, no? I'm in front of a chef, so I have to be kind of... No, you're, I'm not a chef, remember? <laughs> I'm just your friend. Sino chef? Wala chef dito, ah. <laughs> So anyway, I already cooked the macaroni noodles. So syempre kailangan al dente or to the bite. So I already set it aside. It's right here. Over there. So now I'm going to cook the meat sauce. The Mama Carell's beef spaghetti slash baked mac sauce. Actually, the sauce, you can make it for any pasta, right? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, let's start. I put the oil already, whatever oil you prefer. So I just put enough and then I put the usual. First, I start with uh, garlic and onion over there. Cool. You know, I don't know, but some people put the onions first and some people put the garlic first. I try both sometimes. Kasi sabi nila, pag yung garlic daw, is that true? Yes, depende. If your pan is really hot, you don't want to put the garlic first. But kung hindi naman, actually even if you put no, at the same time, it's fine. I think for me, what works is you give it some time. Because yes. sometimes nagigisa sila 30 seconds and then tapos na. You know, you wanna develop the flavor. Nice. Thank you um, for the tip. I'm doing no, it but now. I'm just a friend here. Ah. Hindi ako chef. Friend ako. You can do whatever you want. So now, yeah, while we're waiting for the onions and garlic, if I can smell it na, and if I can see like it's not kind of hilaw, then in a bit, I will just put the ground beef. A lot of people like different kinds of beef. I don't know, some like the lean, some like the one with the tabata ba. I like it with the tabata. Me too. I can put Me less too. oil. Less the real oil. I use the oil of this. So I'm gonna put the ground beef right now. Yes. So there you go, guys. Cool. There. So I'm just gonna mix it. Make sure that it won't burn. I put actually some flavoring. Like if you add, you can add any flavoring you want aside from salt and pepper, which I'm gonna do. I also put like beef cube because just to add flavor. But some prefer not to put any kind, so it depends. So maybe for some salt and pepper, some nga, they even put patis. But you know, you can make your own, right? To our own liking. So yeah, I, why not? Why, why not? not? So we put some salt and a little bit of pepper. Wow, automatic yung pepper grinder mo. <laughs> High touch. It saves me time. Actually, my husband bought that for me because sometimes he always sees me every single day. I make all these baked mac, all these truffle. Mm. <laughs> So apparently he bought it for me online wow, and apparently it's a, buy, uh, it's a good buy. It's a good buy. Oh, well, talking about your husband, yeah. he's a Farinas. What, what's his name? His name's Sean Farinas. My husband is not into politics. He's a businessman. He's also, by the way, in the restaurant ah, industry. So... Sa kanila ba yung Farinas empanada? Sa family, yeah, sa, family. But family he has his ba? own. Ah, cool, he has his cool. own. He's also ah. in the restaurant industry. So anyway, cool. next, Filipino touch. My kids love it. I love it. I grew up with the ano, eh, hot dog means and spaghetti. So of course, this is diced hot dog. Cool, <laughs> cool. There. And then I'm also gonna open a rin siguro the other kalan. <laughs> ano naman yung lulutoy mo dyan sa other kalan? <laughs> the other kalan, I'm going to ano, cook the cheese sauce. Oh, just wow. so it can melt lang okay. on the Okay. So while uh, this is sautéing, I'm gonna add the cheese and the milk and the butter together. So you're not just cooking a meat sauce, you're also cooking a cheese sauce. Yes, parang malabet style, but yeah, cheese sauce, yes, more of the Pinoy, that's great. That's Pinoy great. flavor with uh, oh. very umami, that umami cheese, the local cheese that we all like, like in the Ube Pandesal, that kind of cheese. I put fresh milk also. So you're using a quick milk? Yes, quick milk. Melt, quick melt cheese and then I put lang nice. the milk and then I put salted butter na para I don't have to put salt and the cheese naman kasi is very salty na rin. so sometimes you don't have to add salt na rin. right 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 yes so I'm just gonna balance it out lang let it melt and then towards the end I put a little bit of cinnamon konti lang wow oh that's a great tip that you shared with us Karel 
you know, putting spices Just and the herbs. right amount. Cinnamon is not a very common spice to put in a cheese sauce, right. but it would give it some interesting flavors. That's great. That's right. great. I like that. I yes. like that, actually. So now it's still buo pa. So I'm going to just put it here until it kind of melts. Super low heat lang so it doesn't burn. And then, so I think this is really cooked already. The ingredients for the beef spaghetti sauce or the baked mac sauce. I'm yep. also gonna put also some herbs. I actually already have the pre-mixed one, the Italian seasoning. Mm. So it's Italian right. seasoning lang. Because usually, pag yung mga Pinoy's, they put sugar also, which I'm gonna also do later. Pero I want to add a little bit of, you know, flavor just to make it a bit different lang para may nice. kung mga layers. For our viewers, when you say Italian seasoning, it's a mixture of herbs, di ba? Yes, I think like it has oregano. Na, para oh. when you taste the beef, I don't know if it's just me, pero parang there's less lansa and there's like more flavor to it. So next, I'm going to put na the tomato sauce. Oh, it's looking good. Yeah, it's really, nice. it's really cooked na. So yeah, I'm gonna okay. put the tomato sauce na. Question, yes. how old are your kids by I the way? I have three. And how many kids yeah. do you yes, have? Yes, I have three kids. My youngest is one year old. Wow, then, oh, yeah. you just, wow. I have two more big kids who's 10 and 11 who's right here in the other room. They're currently doing their online class. <laughs> and I'm glad that I know they're foodies as well. They love food. All kinds of cuisines. Ah, I, make, wow. I make them try. Oh my gosh, all kinds. This is one of so their dapat, favorites. Ano? Patulungin mo na sila sa kitchen yes. whenever you're prepping my, uh, ano. No na, my son. My son is more of like, he wants to be like a chef kind into the restaurant industry also. He loves the kitchen so much. He's always here checking food. My gosh. He loves to watch me cook and he That's loves to great. eat. I'm pretty much almost done chef. So actually, Usually, pag maramihan, what I do is, um, of course, when I'm done with the sauce, the cheese sauce and your meat sauce, then I add already the elbow macaroni noodles mm. to the sauce. I'm going to mix it because I'm also going to put it in the baking container. Um, I want to ask, you started di pa uso yung online many, many years back. Right. When you just started, what was the biggest challenge for you doing your online food business? Of course, challenging is to accept the fact that when you have lots of orders, the challenge was to make sure that all will be the same. The quality of food mm, that you give will be yeah, the same. Sometimes yes. it can go wrong one ingredient oh. you miss. Alam mo, tama yan. It's hard to make your final end product consistent na pare-pareho yes. yung quality. Yes. Especially if you're doing big batches, di ba, at the same time. Do you measure it ba? I kind of measure. Like for example, for that day, uh, let's say lima yung baked macaroni in this certain size. So parang measured na kung ilan kilo yung ground beef. So uh, kung gaano kadami na yung cheese na kalabas na, parang calculated na rin talaga namin kung ilan. So now I'm going to right. put the last last layer. Oh, the, may layer pa. Kala ko tapos the, na, yung cheese yun so na yun. After putting the uh, umami cheese mixture that we made, just for also parang coloring na rin on top, nice parang nice look. I put some sharp cheddar, the orangey kind. So I'm just gonna freshly grate it here ah, on top. Ah, okay. So an added flavor lang, an added sharpness to your yes. baked mac. So I'm just gonna put lang on top. There nice. you go. Last but not the least, I am going to sprinkle lang some paprika. Paprika? Wow. Okay. Go. Guys, that's a good tip to know na you can add also a different kind of cheese on top of your cheese sauce because it will add a different kind of flavor and it will also help brown the top layer, di ba? Yes. Talaga bang level na yan, Karel, di ba? May paprika pa. Okay, so Karel, is that ready na for the oven or are you still gonna put some extra stuff? Now this is ready. Finally wow. ready! What oven are you using to bake that? Sometimes if I don't really want to use my other oven, the La Germania oven that we have here, we've been cooking here. Sometimes I really want to bake and cook via the tabletop one. So this is what we're using today. This is the La Germania tabletop ah, okay. type. Yes, it's very compact. Wow! And it's uh, the okay. La Germania 100 series. Anyway, yeah, I've been using it for a while now. And I just want to share that it can help a lot of small businesses, uh, food businesses, because siempre it's compact. You don't really need a lot of space. Siempre if yes. you're starting at home, diba? Siempre if you're oh. starting a food business, if you have a small space, this mm. La Germania electric compact oven is perfect. So I use it. I also use it very much. And uh, it saves me time nice. too and space. Alam mo, very convenient talaga yung electric na compact oven. Which, by the way, I also have one myself here. Ooh, 
wow. Oh, wow, wow. May, nice. May electric. Ganda. I have a Berta Zoni electric La Germania here. Yeah, it's very convenient because Malit lang yung space na kailangan mo and electric siya. So electric. you can plug so, it anywhere. Right. You can go around the house and maybe cook by your dining area, your balcony. Just make sure you just have a plug and you, you don't need gas because it's already electric. Just plug and go. All right. Karel, so you you place some I don't know, some paprika, some sharp cheddar. Yep. Now you're going to put it inside your oven. So like now, like we're gonna do it na, we're gonna bake it na rin talaga. So it's already preheated and that's it. We're just gonna wait for a few minutes until we see siguro there's browning on top and that's actually yes. done. My cheesy beef baked macaroni. <laughs> excited, excited na ako. Actually, it is. It is pwede na actually. Kasi parang we preheated it na so it's already kind of quick. Kasi me, once I see na medyo mag brown na. Cool, okay cool. Na yun. I'll get it na. Sige, sige. Wow. Alam mo na, na-excite tuloy ako. Parang gusto ko na pumunta dyan sa bahay nyo ngayon. <laughs> wow! Ganda nga ng pagka-brown niya. Uh, Karel, can I ask you another question? When you did this cooking online business, how did it help you and did it also help other people as well? Kasi yes. you mentioned to me, dati ikaw lang, bigla na lang, ngayon right. may mga assistants ka na. Yes, that's right. So actually it helped because of course, I get to help our angels here at home. I call them my angels who help me prep because actually prepping, imagine Kalyo's ingredients all the tripe and all the other other ingredients or prepping all the ingredients for this is actually not an easy job if i will do it every single day so uh, oh, oh, them, of course they have an extra income on the side as well as wow. I also, but i also have uh, no, other riders i have uh, in-house riders they're not stay in but they're nearby here they work for the courier apps but we know them personally so parang i train them to handle i have other businesses then kasi like plants it's called manila jungle so they're trained to ah. handle plants na and food. Because okay. siempre if you don't know a rider, for example, in the app that you're the your delivery apps, right? Sometimes they don't know how to handle food. So I'm glad I also found some riders who uh, we know personally already, and at the same time nice. we help them because nice. I pay them. There's one who works for me na lang and doesn't do na the career apps because he lives nearby and he says na it's more than enough. Wow. So I'm happy with that. Ngayon pa lang, it looks delicious. And nakita ko naman yung process, how you cooked it. You done really good, Karel. Sana you. libre na yung rider mo. Oh, para yes. matilibre na niya ngayon. Ah, di ba? <laughs> Kasi nagugutom na talaga ako eh. Well, super thank you, Karel, for sharing your dish to us. And I'm so happy that you're happy with your super, super happy. stuff. Kasi ako rin eh, I, I started cooking very young wow. and ever wow. since La Germania na yung ginagamit ko. Now I'm very happy that you're using also La Germania so in, in your so. business. Thank you, thank you so much thank for so much, being yeah. our guest here. I'm sure maraming natutunan yung ating mga viewers. And ako mismo, sobra akong natuwa. Good luck to you, Karel, thank with, you, your, with your online I'm business. I'm going to send this to you. And I can't wait to taste your stuff. Again, thank you so much, Chef Lau, and to everyone who's watching. And of course, I'd like to invite everyone to follow and like the official page of La Germania Philippines. They're on Facebook and Instagram. Again, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Karel. And thank you sa lahat ng ating viewers. And I'm also inviting you to stay tuned for our future episodes sa Cooking Together with La Germania. <laughs>
Excited din ako matikman itong heirloom recipe pa ng family na Nakalios. Yeah! Ang dami niyang sauce. Of course, you cannot eat this by itself. Kailangan natin ng rice, of course. To soak up all that sauce. Grabe ito. Hindi, hindi, hindi kulang sa sauce ang Kalios ni Karel. Alright. Karel's Kalios. It's really good with rice and you can taste yung mga meat components niya eh very tender so talagang matagal niya niluto to and yung sauce niya uh, look at that sauce perfect with the rice sauce pa lang ulam na thank you so much Karel ang sarap ng baked macaroni mo and your kalos parehong panalo yeah